Hello and welcome back, shall we say. Um, sorry it's been a bit of a delay on the videos. Just haven't got the time I'd like to uh, spend on this stuff. But um, still doing them, so don't worry. Uh, this is a tutorial based uh, research channel. And um, basically if you want to learn my method of um, enhancing these images, then check out the previous videos so all the information is in there and, and if you can't get ahead with that then uh, just contact me and I'll help you as best I can okay right um, I'm doing this raw again so just bear with me okay right we're going to be looking at this now I don't know why I downloaded this image I was looking for um, something else and um, something I saw on YouTube. I like to have a look at everything everyone's having a look at because um, it's normally different to what they're uh, explaining. Um, and as you know, um, I'm not one to label stuff and um, it's difficult because uh, we don't know what this stuff is and again this is this is like the uh, the last video I did so let's have a look at the image as it comes in there's a tiny bit of uh, contrast on this um, just so we can we can have a look so you can see that pixelating already but there's just a few things I want to point out um, these little marks at the top and we know from previous videos um, that in the late 60s, 60s when they started um, radio waving the information back especially from the moon and stuff um, they had already developed uh, software to take out striping um, etc etc so and I think yeah, I think this is late 90s I'm not sure oh and it's the right mass cam as well so you can see there's like little these like little marks you can't you can't really tell um, in this but you can see the striping coming down here and it's slightly offset and stuff which is uh, abysmal um, editing on their part so straight away as usual with these uh, images we're looking at the uh, the ridge line here and uh, it's what I would call airbrushed out. Um, because there's something else which this is attached to, which I'll show you in a minute. And from this image, you wouldn't actually notice. Well, no one would notice. You'd have to... Uh, um, enlarge the resolution to actually get a look at what's actually going on but there are various areas in here which are still uh, which are brushed out you can clearly see here the blurring and you can see the strip line there as well I mean that is obvious it's happening here as well And there is unusual stuff in the past well it, even now people put these uh, markings and stuff down to uh, petroglyphs hydroglyphs or whatever you want to call it carvings and stuff like that but it, the more we look at this stuff the more it's uh, doesn't seem to be apparent these whole images are uh, absolutely covered in this stuff and in regards to what it is ooh, is uh, anyone's guess at the moment so let's have a look at the enhanced version so I'll be moving between this so I'll have a quick look at this and you can see more detail in on it this is enlarged in fact, I should have enlarged this even more. Um, 
Let's just uh no 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 what are we at? Seven cubic halo. Yeah guys do a lot of this stuff in the other videos. Obviously showing you how we work through the process. Um, so look, it's moving quite slow. That's probably a, a bad move there on my on my behalf. But in the previous um, Mars image we looked at, um, you could obviously see that the whole surface is covered in this. As much as I think I could say was a uh, mechanical looking, don't really know. It's so good. Uh, I mean, people see stuff in it, which is just a natural thing. It's naturally the way the um, the brain works because it has to. Um, um, identify with something, you know, that that's put in front of it. Okay, that's my poor computer struggling there. So at first glance, I mean, this is it's rocks, it's rocks, it's rocks. Uh, and anyone would say you're crazy to think that there's anything else and it's not a point of thinking it's like it's literally I can only go on the results I'm getting so let's have a look at the enhanced one and as if you're new to this and stuff that the the colors you're going to see are from the the tools that I use um, on the image to enhance it. I'm not going to show you a black and white image um, because we're going to be pretty close up um, and it works quite well so let's have a look. Okay that's totally completely different. What we'll do we'll start at the bottom and as usual um, you need to give yourself time just to adjust to the image and stuff. Um, I'll point out the striping and stuff. And like we've seen before, like different stripes will have different um, blurring factors. You know, the, the whole thing's blurred anyway. Um, different, um, and hopefully I can find you a sample in here, um, where you get a blurred stripe and then a less a blurred stripe and so on and so forth so so this isn't full enhancement there's lots of areas which I haven't done yet um, I think it was yesterday I just quickly ran around and tried to highlight a few bits and bobs so you can hopefully make more sense of them and that's the thing like I was saying earlier I mean are we going to be able to make any sense of this I mean it's uh, it's bewildering to what this stuff is but it doesn't look natural or, or nat shall we say natural to us is it natural to Mars? Is this what the surface is made up of? And what it is, I have no idea. But to those of you who follow the channel, um, this you will know what I mean when when this has a familiar look to it but we're on a completely different scale we're on the surface scale um, so I'm, I'm quite a loss to to what 
we're actually looking at here. Um, this area hasn't been done but you can see this unusual whoops wrong way this strange edging here And you can see the striping coming down through here. Look at this. It's it's it, it's mechanical. I mean, that's the, that's the only word I can really put on it. Oh yeah, and apologies if you can hear crackling. If you use your headphones, so you can hear the ambient music. Um, I, it's only a cheap microphone. I think it's on the way out. So apologies for that. And we spoke about the um, that that edging. Well, that edging is um, points vertically from the top, and we've spoken about them using um, patterned filters uh, of sorts um, to put over images, which it could, may disguise something which is regular in the original image. What I mean by that is like, for example, you see this piece here. You can see the stripe. Here's a here's a blurred stripe. Not so blurred. So it all varies. And then we have this pattern, which is in the striping. I mean, I could put I could put this image together better than they've done this. It's atrocious. But you can see the form of this is actually part of what is going on on the surface here. So is it just another disguise to distract the eye, move the eye around the image thinking that there's, uh, there's nothing going on? We just looked at that. Didn't we? Again, it all has this connected element. If you are new to this, then you're probably going to be finding this very difficult and it just looks like an abstract painting. Um, but it's worth looking at this image. I'm, I, like I said, I just stumbled upon this one. I was looking for something else, and I just thought I'd have a look at it. And uh, it just kept going. Um, see how this is all mislined. 
blurred, blurred, not blurred, well, it's all blurred. See these shapes through here. I can pull that out a bit more for you. So as always, pause and just take it in. I mean, look at this mechanical form. I mean, it's, you know, you could say organic, but it's, it's the other end of organic. You see, the way it's formed, the way it travels across the surface and stuff has this organic feel, but the actual pieces, the parts it's made up of, looks mechanical and like I say I mean I, I believe this may be just something that we completely over our heads and just something we we really don't know about yet I mean these are the I suppose that's my conclusion so far I'm not um, my brain's not gonna say it is something I mean it's and this is a mistake people make I mean they'll look at a whole piece and say well oh god this looks like a crocodile or, or, or something like that what I'm looking at are the small parts of this When I go like that, I'm just highlighting something, obviously. What is it? Oh, really, what is it? Look at this. So it's like we said in the other image as well, when, when, when you actually uh, increase the resolution of the image and have a look, they're actually, the stuff is here. You can clearly see this strange stuff. It's like I've said before, the, the only way you're going to see this is to use some sort of imaging software. You won't get it on like a Windows view or anything, even if you enlarge it, because it will just pixelate. See the blurring in here. Look at that. Blatant. So areas like this, which are completely blank, take a long time. It takes a lot of uh, work to to pull these out. Um, did in this image anyway. I've been working on this for. A quite some time uh, amongst doing other stuff that's what I'm trying to do 
but I haven't got hours every day to spend on this anymore. Which is a real shame. Okay, so we were going this way, sorry. I mean, tell me, have you ever seen anything like this, mechanical looking? When we spoke about hematite, there was <coughs> talking out in the, in the buttes that the, the, a lot of this stuff is hematite, which is very fractured looking um, rock anyway. <coughs> but um, I, I looked at loads of samples of uh, hematite and uh, nothing contains anything like these. This tiny little stuff machine-looking stuff. You see the depth and the shadows, tops. So you can see the three dimensional structure of this. If you're new, it might take you a while to understand that, um, visually, that is. Okay, so we're starting to get to this uh, ridge line now. Um, what is this? What is this? What is going on here? So 
so you can see now um, had more luck just above the uh, the ridge line because it's been heavily blurred and airbrushed. And we've looked at these a few times now and it's the fact it just doesn't look right, doesn't look correct at all. Look, I mean it's where does it even end on this? It's so poorly done. You can really see the stripes here. An abysmal quality, look. So as I've shown before, um, the tops of these are carrying on through into something else and this has just purely been airbrushed, edited, blurred out, bleached, however you'd like to call it. Okay, let's pan out a bit, probably make more sense of the background slightly further away, but it is very poor, it took a lot to, uh, to pull this out, but you can clearly see there's something else going on other than this whatever that is. Okay. I'll just point, you can see these. I don't know what it is. But it makes an appearance when we get into the rock area see little lines of it but I actually think like I was talking about the feel I think it's just another masking element to mask something which is reoccurring in the actual real photograph okay very difficult to make out but it's the same has the same uh, what would you say structural orientation as what is going on down in this part of the picture but it looks larger as well so the scaling in the background um, it's the same stuff but it's larger if that makes any sense 
and as we all know, none of this makes any sense. The more you do, the less sense it makes. But I do think we're getting somewhere as well. Learning what it's not, not what it is. see all the striping but there are features everywhere yeah very difficult to make out though you'll probably have to pause and squint and But there are geometric forms. Let's have a closer look. See these vines down here? Don't know what this is. I think we've covered most of that and tell me what you think uh, if you haven't got a clue what you're looking at um, maybe check some of the other videos out um, uh, I think there's two two others or three others um, with these Mar Mars sort of uh, curiosity images um, Revealing very, very similar stuff. Um, what it is, I do not know, but it's there. Uh, this is all fake and false. The sand, the background, um, and I say that it looks too good to be true. You're just gonna, you're gonna think, yep, yeah, no, 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 that's uh, that's real Mars geology typography um, and obviously that's not a real color interpretation of um, we're just enhancing the uh, anomalies on it okay guys see you soon and uh, thanks thanks again um, hopefully it'll be a bit quicker this time around um, I have got tons of stuff, like, um, as always, um, just trying to think where I'm doing, doing next, um, it's another moon of a planet, yet another one, um, really good stuff, so, um, look out for the, uh, for the upload, and, um, I'll see you all soon, cheers.